that tone, it's a real money in the room. So my advice to Ben X would be, if you're going to get out here and really be for the youth, even though I don't f*** the Nation of Islam for the reasons I've stated, uh, on top of the fact I did the number one doc documentary on Malcolm X in the world, it was number one, and I exposed how Elijah Muhammad was a He got a 16-year-old pregnant three times and got them other girls pregnant. Nobody want to talk about that. But outside of all of that, even if you want to rep the NOI, even though I highly disapprove, right, be your own man. You know what I'm saying? Be, be your own man, like Khalid Muhammad. Khalid Muhammad was in the NOI, but he was his own man. He wasn't Malcolm. There's plenty of shit he didn't say that he didn't agree with, that nobody liked, but he was his own man. Be, your, be Ben X from the NOI. Not that that's running under this, because all this do is start all day and then get on camera and try to play innocent. And that's, my, that's one of my biggest issues with a lot of black conscious people. I'm going to bring this name up, too. Another I got into it with down here in Houston, Umar Johnson. You feel what I'm saying? I got into it with Umar Johnson because, and mind you, the crazy thing is about Umar, I went to one of Umar lectures when I first got out of jail. One of my peoples took me. I ain't going to say her name, but she took me in this lecture, and I'm asking him legitimate questions. He thought I was a troll or a heckler because he ain't expect me to be that smart. And he was like, man, I thought you was a heckler, man. You so smart. I'm like, no, I'm just asking you questions about your school. You throwing questions out talking about you building a school. So I'm asking you infrastructure-based questions. And then he did it. Now, he didn't know that. I was young Pharaoh. He didn't know that. He thought I was just a his crowd. So he did a lecture down here in Houston, and um, they asked him, what you think about young Pharaoh? And he was like, he the dirtiest in the game. Dirtiest young in the game. Now, my thing is, I'm like... Why, the, did, why did he say that? What was you his? asked him, why would you hate on a young... Because he usually gives an explanation. Why would you hate on a young... I don't know, hating on a young... I'm going to just be honest with you. Hating on a young... bro. Just do it all the time. Hating on the young niggas. Old football players hate on young football players. Old rappers hate on young. He hating on the young up and coming. But the thing is, he never made a distinction that you, you, you trying to diss me. You got everybody in your lecture laughing at me. But you don't even realize that I'm the same young man that just came and supported you when you came to Rochester, New York. 45 right. minutes from my city. Right. But you trying to play me, though. But you don't even realize I just came and showed you some love. So I said to say this is the same reason I don't f with them is the same reason I don't f with Umar, none of them, because they all been trying to play me and disrespect me behind the scenes all of these years when I, when I ain't one of them that's going to say, I never said nothing about you, but I legitimately never said nothing about none of them. They've been trying to dog me and rag me, and I'm up now. <laughs> and I'm not with y'all. It just is what it is. I remember everything y'all all said about me all of these years. I would never with y'all ever, never, never, never. And I want to say this about uh, the NOI, too. I was in uh, L.A. with K-Cola before me and her fell out over the And I ran into two from the NOI, uh, and they didn't want to fight. And they said it was Gucci, and they shook my hand. So I said to say this, my beef with the NOI is squashed. Don't nobody try to resurrect it. You feel what I'm saying? But I said that to say this, I just want to let the world legitimately know why we got into it. Because we live in a world where people start, but everybody gets mad at the victim. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to that happened so I can go outside right now and just slap a random person but when he hit me back everybody get mad at him I can start disrespecting people in here but when they start disrespecting me back y'all get mad at them so it's like I just want to let the world know I'm not uh, a young firecrackery man who shouldn't have any power or responsibility I'm not somebody that just be starting or abusing my power I just want to let y'all know they started with me the NOI started with me well I want to say I think the comments from you about the NOI are a little irresponsible because when you tell Ben X to be more like Khalid Muhammad, who named his son after uh, Farrakhan, uh, Brother Farrah Gray, uh, it's like, you know, he was kicked out for his comment. So you basically tell him to get kicked out of an organization that he loves. I hear that. And great point. I don't want what I said to be misconstrued, right? Great point. Um, so let me be detailed. When I say that, right? And I only bring that up because you brought up brother uh, Khalid. You are right. You the host. And you're doing a great job. Look, this is how you know this is a good host. He listening to what I'm saying. So with that being said, my comment there is just be your own man. Be your own man. And as far as Khalid Muhammad, I'm going to show you the lecture I did because when Khalid Muhammad went to jail, Farrakhan wrote the judge on Khalid. Wrote the judge on him. And man, listen, I got so much on Farrakhan. He wrote the judge on Khalid. How you write the judge on your man? How you out here to, and even if you didn't like Khalid, right? 
How you write the judge on him trying to get him extra time? How you do that? That was I got the actual news article that he wrote from there from back then. So I say that about Kyle. That's another thing they don't know about Kyle Lair. You know what I'm saying? And they also say that you know why Biggie Smalls. That's in the documentary too. His bodyguard said that. The same bodyguard that was P Diddy bodyguard that said he caught him and Ja Rule in the room with sex toys. So I got all the, I got everything you need for Farrakhan. If Farrakhan could come sit right here, I'll show it to him. He wrote it. But with that being said, I just want to say that. That's why I don't f with him. Other than that, I'm not getting up head hunting for Nation of Islam. They came over here and didn't realize I was the number one researcher in the country, and I f***ed around and got all the skeletons out their closet. But it's squashed, pre-according pre to them, and anybody watching this video, leave it, leave it squashed. Leave it squashed. But that's why I don't f*** with them. So there was another comment you made that I wanted to hint on. Yes, sir. Um, apparently, you don't consider yourself a part of the conscious community. Yes, sir. However, a lot of us, uh, what, what's the podcast called? Uh, Sarnetta. Sarnetta. A lot of us know you originally from being featured on Sarnetta's podcast. Yes, sir. I believe in New York, you know what I'm saying, with yes, uh, brothers from the conscious community. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, I, like, why don't you consider yourself a part of the conscious community? You know, what's your relationship with the conscious community uh, via brother Sarnetta? Yeah. The couch. I got a hell of a story for you, champion. But he tried to play me on a contract and put Brother Polite scammed me. I almost had to shoot Brother Polite ass to get my money back. What? Oh yeah, I got a story for you. So this is what happened. This is how I, this is how the f I got involved with the conscious community. Now, once again, I want to reinstate, I'm an otanist. I'm an otanist. That's the Egyptian form of Buddhism. Most people are not aware of that as I'm on my journey to reestablish Egypt as a global empire. So I just, for, for late in turn, say I'm a Buddhist. Now, I had like 30, 40,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I did a lecture called, well, I did like a four part series or something called the 76 trillion year history of the black race or something like that. It's actually still on my university now. Sarnetta so jumped in my comments and was like, hey man, could you come give this presentation on my platform? Now to me at the time, I'm fresh out of prison. I don't know shit about this man like that. All I know is, it's a lot of black, seemingly educated people here. So to me, I felt like, well, perfect. It'd be the perfect opportunity for me to showcase who the f I am. You know what I'm saying? Right. So boom, he invited me to give the lecture. He invited me to get his presentation called The Bible is Based Off Astrology. Now, it was that. And then also I had a friend who I believe he's passed away now. His name is um, Authority. We go by Authority. His name was Robert Kirkland. He was a God body from Brooklyn, New York. Now, I met him in Wyoming. What's a God body? Like, like, how can I explain it? People that believe God is within themselves, like basically like Wu-Tang Clan back in the day, God body, arm, leg, leg, arm, head, peace, God, what's the science, what's the day's mathematics, you never heard all of that? No. Oh, five percenter, you ever heard of a five percenter? Yeah. Okay, that's a God body. Yeah, I know Christians also believe that God is within them and they are, you know. Yeah, it get, it get West intricate. say he's a, he's right. a God. Hey, real tone, there's some real money in the room.